there's just such an energy here. There's such a, it's such a powerful energy. And to me, it feels like there's an equal balance of feminine energy and masculine energy. Hi, I'm Allison Green. I'm the artist in residence in Zion National Park um, from October to November. And it's just been amazing. I've been doing encaustic painting for a long time. Encaustic is uh, beeswax, pigmented beeswax. Um, you have to put a varnish crystals, Damar varnish crystals into the wax and you melt it and you can add, it, it's compatible with oil paint. So I use oil paint in tubes and I also use oil sticks. Um, so, you know, these pigmented oil sticks, it's oil paint, but in a solid form. With drawing, you can draw on paper and then embed the drawings into the wax. You can carve into the wax. When you lay the molten wax on, then it dries instantly and you have to use a heat torch or a heat gun and fuse the layers um, onto each other. So it's a multi-stage process. It actually takes quite a bit of time, um, but it's really fun. Like, <laughs> it's super fun to, because you create translucency and transparency and you can build up history. You can, after you've laid stuff down, then you can scrape um, the stuff back and, and delve back into the history of what came before, which I love because it's sort of metaphorical of what ha is happening here geologically. I'm constantly changing and trying different things and um, I don't I don't want to get too locked into one particular way of working because it's really cool to make discoveries in the process like when I first got here I did a bunch of things that were just total failures like oh my god and they're just trash but I was like Allison it's just part of the process and then get you have to go through that it's really cool when the, the accidents of the media happen. Sometimes crazy things, unpredictable things happen with the wax melting in a weird way or interacting with what you've laid on. And it's like, ooh, it's kind of like, ooh, it's like alchemy. It's like the alchemical process of like, oh, that's cool. So sometimes you cannot plan it and I love that. The collage process is similar to how you feel here because you're, taking things together and synthesizing um, your experiences of all these different places and the different beautiful settings here. I love looking at rocks. Like, I can't collect rocks here, but like, I, I do love looking at just the tech. There's so many colors and textures that are um, infinite variety. Um, there's deer all over, and so I'm kind of including deer and fox. There's a fox family in, around living here. And the trees, of course, they're all changing the leaves right now. The river is really significant to me, the whole Virgin River, the entire um, start to finish of it. It's, you know, it's the desert, and there's prickly plants and harsh sun, and it can be a harsh environment if you're not prepared. Like, but it's also feminine when you're in the narrows and the, the curves of the rock walls and like the water and the Virgin River, like it's very powerfully feminine. And in the feminine principle is what I mean. Just having explored so much in the park, um, you get a feeling of the huge vast variety of everything here. It just has like an energy and presence of human history and then all the natural history around. It's like one of the richest places I've ever lived and experienced. I've been moved to tears several times here just by the beauty of it. I take in my experience of the place and translate that through color and shape and form and abstraction and representation. So some representational elements and some abstract elements and I just like put, it's like my experience um, comes through in my art. And so it's more of a feeling thing. People feel and experience that sense of awe here.